vám prajeme z kvázi jazykovej školy. Dnes je sobota, 10 hodín a tak ako sme sľúbili, tak sme tu s ďalším art workshopom aj spolu s Johnom, ktorý dnes bude robiť abstraktné umenie. Takže predtým, než hoci čo začneme, prosím vás dve veci. Povedzte nám, či nás počujete, či nás vidíte. A takisto, či máte pripravené veci, ja ešte raz zopakujem s Johnovou pomocou, čo dnes všetko potrebujete. John, can we go through things that we need today? So yes. come and say hello first. <laughs> can we see? Hello everybody, how are you all doing? Uh, <laughs> so I'm looking you... at a, the laptop at the same time here, so okay. forgive me if I don't look straight into the camera all the time. So what do we need today? No. And we show them so that yes. they can get ready. Pripravte sa, kým ešte budeme rozprávať. So, Takže. in your materials list, I said, try and get your hands on some card, some A3 white card. White paper is not really satisfactory for this job. Mm -hmm. Čiže so. trikrát výkres A3. Keď nemáte, utekajte rýchlo ešte kúpiť, stíhate, lebo ešte John bude na začiatku vysvetľovať. Ideme ďalej. Then a couple of things like, for example, some glue, mm -hmm. a black marker, a ruler, scissors, and in English we call this a compass. I don't know what you call that. Yeah. A compass or a plate, anything that you can use oh, to draw that's circles, mm -hmm. big circles, small circles, any, a mug, plate, Takže kým toto všetko vy si ešte pre istotu pripravíte, a aby sme nezabudli farby. <laughs> Now, you're also going to need some paints. I use a big plate like this because it, it helps to show the colors clearly. Uh, we're, we're, just some basic primary colors are fine. Yellows, reds, greens, blues and some white. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. Takže ešte toto. Dobre, super. Tak um, na začiatok, aby ste vedeli, ako to bude zorganizované dnes, lebo minule boli otázky, že bol, bol sľubený preklad a tak ďalej, lebo nebolo jasné, že či teraz uh, už sa hneď maľuje, alebo niečo sa vysvetľuje. Opäť, uh, na to, aby ste mohli sa niečo naučiť o abstraktnom umení, lebo toto nie je vyslovene len workshop, kde prídete, zoberiete farby a budete maľovať. Všetky Johnové hodiny sú zároveň aj trošku pohľadom do histórie alebo pohľadom do techniky, ktorú budeme na tom danom workshope využívať. Čiže dnes najprv toto, čo vidíte za mnou, vám trošku vysvetlí John a máte vy ešte preto tých pár minút na to, aby ste sa rýchlo rozbehli po byte a našli to, čo treba a uh, bude vysvetľovať všetky tieto veci a ako to funguje, ako, o čom je abstraktné umenie a vlastne ako si ho môžete doma urobiť. Ale hlavné je to, že aj to vám John povie podľa mňa aspoň 10 krát, že abstraktné umenie nemá prakticky žiadne pravidla a hlavne je, aby ste si to robili podľa seba. Takže toto je základ, uh, najprv vysvetli a potom budete spolu s Johnom robiť. Ak by bol potrebný nejaký preklad, tak povedzte teraz, napíšte to do komentov a ja budem pomáhať. OK? John, OK. It's all yours. Enjoj. All right. Now, uh, where do we see? Lirush might be an idea to move just slightly. Where do we see? This is what I look like in close-up. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I want people to be able to see. Oh, this is that good? Yes. Back a bit and. Okay. No, that's fine. There we go. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I can help you. No, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Okay, so abstraction. What's all that about? Well, for hundreds of years. The job of the artist was to depict the real world, not necessarily to interpret it. And they were hired predominantly, actually, by the church, by very rich pa patrons to do their portraits, to paint landscapes of battle scenes, etc., etc., etc. At the end of the 
uh, let's say the 19th century, the role of the artist started to change. And one of the major causes for that was the invention of the camera. This thing here. The camera took over, to a certain extent, the role that the artist had been playing. Because it could depict reality in, uh, in, in fact, rather uh, than by interpretation. So what did the artist do? Well, did we, did we stop painting? No, we did not. We simply started to use the component parts of the artist's skill to create paintings. One of the first people to realize that a painting could have an existence in itself, outside of reality, and be answerable only to itself, and have to justify itself only to itself as a new object, was Picasso. So we're going to take a look now at, let's say, how abstraction developed. Here's one of the first manifestations of it. This is Picasso's Demoiselle d'Avignon, painted in, I think, 1909. Picasso was a young man in Paris, and he was walking past a museum called the Trocadero, and decided to go in and have a look. And the Trocadero was a museum de devoted to uh, primitive cultures, and, and uh, well, mostly that, in fact. So in he went and was struck by the African masks therein. Now, this touched a very deep chord with Picasso, who always felt that he was, to a degree, a sort of a shaman, a sort of a witch doctor. And this, this really did resonate with him. So you can see the first uh, manifestations of abstraction in the painting of four women uh, in a sort of a bathing scene uh, beside the of what would the river be in, in Avignon, I'm not sure, the, the, the Rhone possibly, but you can see the masks. Now, this is not abstraction per se, but it's, it is one of the first steps towards abstraction. This is historically uh, recorded as the first abstract painting ever done, and it was done by Vasily Kandinsky, a Russian artist, uh, again, at the beginning of the 20th century. Now, if you know anything about Kandinsky, you can see how this developed, where this came from. It's a watercolour. He had been painting watercolour landscapes outside. But uh, perhaps it was the weather that drove him back in. But he started to paint just the gestures themselves. And if you look closely at that painting, you'll see there's nothing recognisable in it at all. And here we have abstraction. This is what abstraction is all about. It's about the thing itself. It's about the creation of a new thing that has, bears no relation to the reality outside itself. It is only answerable to itself. Mm -hmm. It only has to justify itself to itself. That's a lot of big words. Libush. <laughs> yeah, I just want to help a little bit because I've seen that there is a need for some translation. Uh, takže ak ste, čo, čo ste zachytili, možno na začiatku bolo to, že John hovoril o obraze Picasa, to bol ten prvý, kde uh, nie je to úplne abstrakt samotný, ako by sa to uh, v dnešnom uh, ponímaní možno chápalo, ale už začalo uh, tam napríklad vďaka tým uh, maskám uh, africkým, už začalo sa trošku pozerať na tú perspektívu inak. Uh, tento druhý, ktorý je naozaj už prvým abstraktným umením sam, samostatným takým, aký, ako by sa už to dnes za abstrakt považovalo, za abstraktné umenie považovalo, tak vlastne tento je presne o tom, že uh, sa, tá maľba nemá sa k ničomu viazať, máme jej rozumieť takej samostatnej, aká je. Takže toto je možno také v skratke k týmto dvom, ktorý, ktoré povedal John. A nemáme, lebo je karanténa, nemôžeme ísť do obchodu. No, nič sa nedá robiť, tak musíte použiť to, čo máte doma a som si istá, že aspoň nejaké vodové farby doma nájdete. Čo poviete? Nájdu sa nejaké? Tak skúste nájsť vodové farby a to by pomohlo, lebo dnes 
nebudete až tak veľa z toho obchodu potrebovať, väčšinou máte hádam doma. OK, John, you can okay, continue. One some more. OK, so next step, chronologically in, in what happened was someone like this, Russian artist, Kazimir Malevich and his constructivism, this was known as constructivism, and you can see him using basic shapes, rectangles, circles, semicircles, arcs, squares, etc., and simply arranging them in a space. Mm -hmm. Now, it looks a little bit like a figure, but at this stage we've gone virtually totally abstract. Here we have abstraction in, it, in the real sense of the word. Uh, Mondrian, Dutch artist, and look at it, this is just so beautiful, you know, and terribly sophisticated and, and still relevant. Mondrian, I, I just think he's, 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 he never goes out of date. Look at the, the beauty of these things. Very simple shapes, very simple primary colours, but just arranged in, in such a way as it's, it's quite extraordinary, really. Uh, that's a very precise, geometric... Uh, well thought out abstraction. The other extreme is Jackson Pollock and here he is in action. Jackson Pollock came from the Midwest, I think Wyoming, and in his younger days when he was a kid he had come across the the, the local Navajo Indians uh, in the reservations in the Midwest and they used to paint using dyed sand, sand that had been colored. They used to paint, they used to draw on the ground using dyed sand. One day in his studio, Pollock noticed that his can of paint was dripping on the ground. And he just looked and saw this splatter of paint on the ground and thought, hey, oh, that's interesting. I can use that. So he pinned the canvas to the ground and started to drip the paint deliberately. And with a degree of control, until he got this. That, believe it or not, is one of the most sophisticated acts ever done by a human being. Really? Absolutely. It's, it's intelligence to the nth degree. Mm -hmm. It's just extraordinary. Pollock himself justified what he was doing, saying, I don't copy nature, I am nature. Wow. So the, the, the suggestion being that since he's a human being, was born on this planet, uh, and, and, you know, evolved, mm -hmm. same as anyone else, that th therefore, anything he does is by itself natural. Mm -hmm. He just took that as a given and went for it. By doing that, Picasso pushed abstraction to its absolute extreme, and a lot of people thought abstraction can't go any further than that. That is the ultimate statement. Of course, it can, and it hasn't ended. Frank Stella, another American artist, who took to a degree what Picasso had been doing, but rendered it in relief form, in almost three-dimensional form. These are cut out of bits of wood. Now, Libush, I'm using a lot of words here. Maybe you might help to catch up. Okay, I'll help a little bit. I don't know if it's necessary. Je potrebné prekladať ešte stále, alebo uh, trošku pomôžem? Napíšte mi, ak uh, Johnovi uh, nie je úplne všetko rozumieť. Ale teda, vrátim sa k tomuto. Toto bol konstruktivizmus, kedy uh, sa využívali, začali sa používať jednoduché tvary. Uh, tu ešte to možno vyzerá ako nejaká postava, ale keď prejdeme už potom k Mondrianovi, tak Mondrian to už sú naozaj čisté formy, jednoduché tvary, primárne farby a uh, to už je také, že uh, art per se, uh, uh, ako, like you were saying, that this is the, the clearest, the precise form, yes, right? Yes, well, well thought out in advance. Uh -huh. and, uh -huh. and, you know. Čiže toto je už také veľmi dobre premyslené od začiatku, už nie len také možno nahádzané na ten papier, ale premyslené. To a degree, these are the two extremes uh -huh. of abstraction. This is totally gestural and and using the element of chance mm -hmm. this doesn't this is toto je, toto je veľmi naplánované možno si that's why you know Dutch people you know they plan everything right <laughs> <laughs> A, a zase Polák, ktorý uh, úplne náhodne prišiel na túto formu vytvárania umeleckých diel keďže mal uh, 
farby, ktoré tiekli na zem a začalo sa to podobať možno na nejaké umenie, tak si povedal, prečo nie, vyskúšam to a teda bol aj in, inšpirovaný um, indiánmi z kmeňa Navaho, uh, ktorí kreslili do piesku a celé uh, svoje krásne maľby, tvorby robili do piesku. Takže on si teda um, vyrobil uh, maľbu alebo to, to, svoju, to svoje dielo tak, že pripol na zem uh, plátno a na tom vyrábal. Čiže toto sú také dosť extrémy, ktoré potom už prešli aj trošku do 3D. Napríklad toto je z nejakej drevotriesky namaľovanej, vyrobená 3D, 3D socha v zásade. A to je takisto abstraktné umenie, ktoré už sa nevzťahuje na nič iné, len na to samotné vyjadrenie, ktoré je tu. Okay. okay, now we won't talk too much longer. We're going to get to work soon. But I just want to show you the latest things that are being done uh, in abstraction. This gentleman died recently, a British artist called Howard Hodgkin. Look him up. H-O-D... Uh, Hodge... H-O-D-G-K-I-N. Hodgkin. Howard Hodgkin. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Pure abstraction. And also, a little... Uh, thing that's sort of uh, unique to him was he used to paint on the frames. He would f do a painting, uh, put a frame on it, and then start working on the frame. And we're going to do that too ourselves later. Mm -hmm. This girl, Julie Merehu, Merehu, sorry, uh, I'm not sure exactly where she came from, at, uh, at Middle East somewhere originally. She now works in America. This is where abstraction is at at the moment, as of 2020. That drawing, okay. painting, is approximately 40 feet long by 20 feet high. It is a monster. Uh, and she plans them out meticulously in advance and has a team of people to work with her, uses cranes, uses forklift trucks to, to do these extraordinary things. Now, okay, let's get to work. Now, we're going to move some of these out of the way. Dobre, takže tie posledné dve, len ešte doplním uh, Johna, ak ste nerozumeli úplne všetko. Uh, jeden bol uh, anglický autor, uh, uh, druhá bola autorka zo Stredného východu. Tie, uh, to posledné je v zásade maľované už uh, vysokozdvižnými vozíkmi, to už sú plátna alebo diela obrovských rozmerov, a kdežto ten Hotkins, uh, tak on zase, to je niečo, čo budeme maľovať my dnes, uh, ktorý využíval aj rám a maľoval aj na rám. No a teraz John si už pripravuje veci, uh, tu si dáva, on bude pracovať na väčšom ako A3, aby ste to dobre videli. Takže tu už si dáva, ja to posuniem bližšie, uh, svoj papier, výkres, kde teraz budete s ním pracovať. Now we're going to make a mess. No, ideme sa zabavrať. <laughs> OK, now. What I'm going to do in order to make our own abstract painting is I'm going to take elements. I'm going to take bits and pieces from all of these abstract paintings and we're going to combine them to make our own. I'm just going to pick a couple of ideas, a couple of gestures, a couple of uh, ways of applying paint and use them here. One of the ways I'm going to do it is as follows. I have yellows, I have red, I have greens, blues and whites here. And I'm just going to make some stripes like this. Yellow. This is a lemon yellow. There's no particular order. Let's just put one there and one over here because I like it. You're going to hear me say that a lot. I like it. <laughs> and that is the only justification you need because to, to an extent, abstract painting is something that is totally subjective. It's what you want to do, and you're not answerable to anybody. 
Mm -hmm. Why I'm putting these here is a matter of my own choice entirely. There are no rules. There are no rules. You just make it up as you go. Čiže to je presne to, čo som hovorila, že to dnes budete od žena počuť minimálne 10 krát, možno aj viac. Abstraktné umenie e, nie je o tom, že potrebujete tam nakresliť niečo, čo poviete, že a toto má byť tak, a toto má byť len tak. Nie, je to iba to, čo sa páči vám. Je to, ako John hovorí, že nakoniec si to zavesíte doma vy, nie on. Takže to, čo sa páči vám, ako si to vy chcete urobiť, či tam dáte tú farbu inú, čiernu, svetlú, bielu, je to na vás a uh, môžete sa s tým úplne vyhrať. Now, again, no reason why I should do this totally my own choice. I don't have to answer for it. I just have to produce something that is somehow interesting to the eye. And that's all you're doing. So we start with this, and as you see, I turned the paper from landscape shape to portrait shape, and now I'm just adding some stripes of yellow. They don't have to go all the way down. You can go that far, and we'll leave it at that. And now, you see the similarity with the Mondrian. Okay. Let's change colors. Now I'm going to use a different type of yellow. This is a cadmium yellow. This is a lemon yellow. And we do some yellow. We do some cadmium yellow. And you'll see as this develops how the colors overlap and start to interact with each other. And produce a very interesting surface. I'm doing this first there's a couple of stages to this painting, to what we're going to produce today. And I'm doing this first because I want it to dry. Let's put a yellow out here. So hopefully what starts to happen is that the painting itself starts to make the rules. Uh, and that only certain things will work and other things won't work. And that will start to become apparent. Let's just stop that there for, I don't know why. Now, go back this way again. And use the same color again. Simple enough. Have we got questions, Libush? I'm just replying to a lady who, whose computer is not fast enough, unfortunately, so she can't follow us. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. But a good thing is that the video will be there, posted after we finish live streaming. Now, do you see what I'm doing? Totally arbitrary. When these dry, the colors will start to interact and start shining through each other and mixing in front of us. So there's two tones of yellow. Now what? Ah, let's go into red. Fun, isn't it? And there's no reason it has to be anything else other than fun. Oh, look at this. I like that. Signal red. And again, no reason why it has to go all the way down to the bottom. Let's go straight down the middle, just for the lock. And already we're getting something visually interesting. But we've only started, believe me. And let's go here. Mm -hmm. wow. This, you see it? <laughs> And like I said, there's no real rules to this. There are no real rules to it. Whatever looks good there is all that matters. We'll just go as far as there with that. Now, we turn it again. And let's see what happens. 
thing with the red. And let's start here. Let's go that far. And maybe there. What about this? We're going to go all the way down with one here. When I do kids' classes and I hear this silence, they are absolutely engrossed at that stage. And uh, you know you don't have to do too much more. They've got the idea, they're off. I hope the same thing happens with adults. Now, uh, let's see. And let's go down here finally. Right, that's it, red. Where do we go next? What about some green? You see, we're already getting something kind of interesting. And making a mess, which is part of the, part of the fun. This is a lighter green. Oops. Uh, oh, now it's starting to mix. Good. Just go this far this time. The green and the red is starting to mix. Making what? Anybody know? Green and red? Brown. The chance element was also a big tool that uh, artists started to use, especially uh, Pollock. Uh, he started to, to use this chance, chance element to, its, to his advantage to see, to, to, to um, allow for the possibility that a lack of control can something, sometimes be an advantage and can be made to work for you. Now, go that far. And again, the decisions you make are entirely visual. There's no, there's no intellectual reason per se why something is this way or should be this way rather than that way. It's entirely visual. You're making something there that is yours and you have to live with or not. Or convince somebody to buy. <laughs> now I'm using a darker green right down here. And what do we see now? You want to do one? Sure. Go on. <laughs> no point being precious. Don't be precious about it. Where do I go? Oh, John, like, don't do this to go me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't worry about it. Oh, Excellent. You. You've just ruined the whole blast today. Wonderful. <laughs> now, I think we... Now, okay, so, this is what I'm hoping for. But now the painting is starting to tell you what it wants. And it's starting to create itself. And you are just the hand and the brush and the tool. That's there because the picture needs it. It's not over there. Not there. It's, and that's in terms of balance. Terms How do of, I know oh, that the picture needs it, John? I, oh, God. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> that's the... the it, that's, I suppose, to a degree, that's the skill and that's the experience yeah. and that's... Uh, but, but, you know, not necessarily. No, but that's Kids. why we're kind of following you because, exactly. you know, imagine that I wouldn't probably be able to do this on my own. Yeah, but able to. What do you mean able to? You Can know, you hold because a brush? I think I wouldn't know where to start. And once you show me a little bit, then exactly. I can work from there. Exactly. Kids don't concern themselves with what they are able to do and what they are not able to do. They just do it. Yeah. And that's what I want you guys to but just... Do it. With a bit of a guidance. Just do it. And then, and watch what happens. Now look, blue. Oh, I love it. Colour is just extraordinary. Colour is an extraordinary thing. Now look, that's what's happening. The reds and the blues are starting to 
overlap and produce a purple where they meet. You see that? See that? I like that. Cool? Color. You see that? Now I forgot to go the other way with the green, but we won't worry about that. How are we doing time wise? Oh, we're fine. Now you think this is fun. Wait, you see what we're gonna do next. Yeah! It's great stuff. <laughs> and now, now as it gets more complex, the, the, the choices become narrower and you have to start thinking. You have to start, you have to start using your brain then. Uh, so that you're not, so that you, you, you know, you, you can ruin it, let's say, if you. No, don't. <laughs> no, don't ruin it. What do we see? Let's frame it a little bit by going here. Yeah, good. Okay, now let's leave that and go this way. Now you kind of have to resign yourself to making a mess, but that's part of the fun of it all. Uh, I'm using a different cu couple of different types of blue here as well, so we use we go with that as well just to see what we get. And uh, now, now what? Now here. Now you see me making decisions here. I hope you're doing the same thing. You're making your painting. And when I'm looking at you, John, it's like pretty difficult to make decisions. Uh, okay. <laughs> and now he will turn again and you are ruining it completely. Okay, I'll finish. Don't worry, I can solve any problem you've got. I know, I know. Passionately, you can. Okay, I'll, Very good. Go, I'll go all Very the good. way here. Cool. I'm now, not sure that you want to give it to me next time, John. <laughs> now, if you're at home with three or four kids, they can do it between them and make one big painting between all of them. Now look. Now I'm starting to get. Uh, now we're starting to get adventurous. We can. Okay, let's leave it with that blue and do another blue. This is a different blue here, and I'm going to mix some white with this blue. Just, just, that's the white. I don't need a reason. <laughs> now look. Now we're getting into another realm of painting. Away from the primary colours and into something a little bit more mm. involved, let's say. And now you see how the colours are starting to overlap and produce new colours by mixing on the surface. Aha! And all of a sudden, before you realize it, you're having fun. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Adults are not supposed to have fun. Hmm. No. <laughs> well, here it's allowed. Now, uh, what do we see now? here and let's go here so I'm not going all the way down now I've changed my idea and I'm starting to draw L's and T's yes indeed now let's mix a bit of white with some red and see what we get Oh yeah. So balance. I'm trying to balance the use of the colour around the picture. I hope you're starting to notice that the picture, your own picture, is starting to make demands on you. Uh, and you have to follow suit. You have no choice in the matter. So the gestures are now getting smaller, more varied.
and distributed around the surface so that it's an all over painting. Now, last thing I'm going to do is last thing we're going to do is this is just some white, some yellow, and again, mm. just adding mm. adding interest to the to the finished thing. And Ak máte na Johna nejaké otázky, tak sa pýtajte v komentároch a ja sa spýtam teda za vás. Uh, now, I think I'm going to leave that. I think I'm going to leave that. What I miss actually is some black. Black would make a difference here. Now, okay, so that's it. Now let's take this off and we're going to come back to that in a minute. But I want it to dry a bit and I'll show you why later. Now, I know I told you guys to, to get some uh, A3 paper. I'm using A2 paper just as you can see it so that it's, it's, a, it's a big uh, effort here as, so you can you, you have easy, it's easier to see essentially. Now, so what are we doing now, John? Well, we're doing this. Takže kým John si prilepí papier, uh, tak ja vám ešte možno poviem tak narýchlo len, že uh, zajtra o 5. večer máme druhý workshop pre deti. Takisto budeme robiť abstraktné umenie. Samozrejme, môžete sa pripojiť aj vy, ale ak máte niekoho, o kom viete, že by chcel robiť niečo podobné, ale teda trošku jednoduchšej verzii, tak uh, šernite s ním... Uh, ten link, ktorý máme na Facebooku a v zásade sa stačí len pripojiť na našu Facebookovú stránku a tam to bude zajtra, ok? Alright? Mm-hmm. Now what? Ok, watch. You remember Mr. Pollock? Let's have a go at okay. using some uh, of his techniques. Now a little bit slower. A little bit slower? Yes, because okay. there is one lady saying that it's too fast to do everything. Ok. Alright. So then we will okay. wait. So this is where we've got so far. Áno, takže ukážeme. Tuto sme sa dostali. Počkáme chvíľočku, kým si to prehodíte a kým si to urobíte. Uh, dostali sme sa do tohto štádia, teraz nám to schne a budeme čakať na to, čo vlastne John bude robiť ďalej. Teraz potrebujete v zase tú druhú A3 a budete potrebovať nie farby, ale stačí uh, mať len uh, fixku čiernu a to je všetko, čo Just potrebujete. Just to let it dry. So this, mm-hmm. that's stage one. Čiže skončili sme v zásade stage one, čiže toto bol krok jeden a teraz pôjdeme na krok dva. Nezabúdajte, že potrebujete tri A3 a tá tretia bude potom na taký ten rám dookola, ale to príde neskôr. Teraz ideme na toto. Dobre, idem sa pozrieť, že či stíhame. Marta hovorí, že je dôležité, aby tam bolo toľko farieb, alebo je to na fantázii autora. So Marta is asking, is it important to have so many colors, or it's just up to you and your fancy? It, it's entirely mine. I like to use a lot of color. I wanted to use the four primary colors. Mm-hmm. I wanted to use yellow, green, blue and red. Mm-hmm. Uh, because it adds to the variety. But she will see soon why I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. It'll, mm-hmm. It'll, be, it'll all become obvious. Why, why I'm doing this. Áno, takže John už po tých skúsenostiach vie, že uh, on chcel použiť viac farieb, lebo za tým má nejaký zámer. Ale samozrejme, keď chcete použiť základné farby 4, tak takisto môžete, ale asi takto to vyznie lepšie. OK, let's move on. Another piece of paper. And this time we're going to get very arbitrary and we're going to use maybe something similar to what Jackson Pollock was at. Like this, watch. You don't even have to look. What the hell is he doing now? You ask. That's what I'm doing. How about that? John, I have a question here. Yes? Is it possible from Lucia? Is it possible to make similar painting with other geometrical objects? There is no limit to what you can do. Don't constrain yourself before you start. 
It is a blank canvas. It is your blank canvas. You do what you like. There are ways that you can make things more effective. For example, with contrast, black, white, complementary colors, red, green, blue, yellow, straight lines with curved lines, which is partly what we're going to be doing today. In other words, there are little tricks that you can use to make your finished result more visually interesting to your eyes. But essentially, there are no rules. It is your painting. It only has, you only have to justify it to yourself, no one else. Now, look at this. What the hell is this all about? Well, I'll show you. Look at the way all these lines intersect. Let's just pick a few and colour them in. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, I'm just going to use black and white to start with. If I think it needs some colour later, I'll add some colour. Mm -hmm. But first of all, I'm just going to pick arbitrary shapes mm -hmm. and colour them in. So I'll tell them also in Slovak, right? Okay. Čiže vidíte, že trošku sa John najprv s tým vyhral a teraz si vyberie hociaké, podľa neho, on si vyberie nejaké, vy si vyberiete svoje, uh, hociaké útvary, kde sa tie čiary pretli a vymaľujete ich. Toto je možno aj odpoveď trošku na ľudskinu otázku, kde uh, um, preto John kreslil čiary, pretože v druhom kroku sú tie... Um, Objekty iné. Sú tam kruhy, polokruhy, sú tam uh, nejaké obdĺžníky štvorce, a každý, ale nie sú vôbec pravidelné. Čiže on tým, že chce skombinovať dve veci dokopy, tak uh, preto tam kreslil rovné čiary a nie nejaké uh, iné línie. A teraz sa zase vyhráme s druhou časťou kedy sme sa vybláznili trošku na obrázku a niekde si to vymalíme. Neviem ako vy, ale ja som takéto niečo robievala, keď som sa nudila v škole na hodinách, tak tohto som mala plné zošity a ani neviem, že som vlastne kreslila abstraktné umenie. Škoda, že som to nevedela, možno, že by som bola teraz v balíku. Now again, the choices are totally personal, totally subjective. Why this one, why not that one? doesn't matter, your choice. It only has to work here. Now, the only th rule I'm applying here is that I'm spreading them out around the surface. Mm -hmm. I'm not, uh, let's do a big one. I'm not, um, they're not all in one place, let's say. So I'm doing one at the top, one at the bottom, a few in the middle, etc. If you do your line around it first to define the shape, then you can fill it in a lot easier. You know, John, what I was just telling them, that yes. when I was, I didn't know that I was already painting art when I was at primary school, because when I was bored, you know, you're just doodling. Yes. <laughs> so this is what I was doing this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> my, my exercise books were full of this kind of art. Really? Yeah, because well, I, was, I was bored. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at See, I There's could no have solved it. Wait, let me just point out, this painting here, Wait, 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 this painting here, this, this painting, painting here, here by Jackson Pollock. So you should have maybe stuck with your doodles. If you wanted to buy that painting now, it would cost you something in the region of maybe 200, 300, maybe 400 million dollars. Mm. Just so you know. Okay. <laughs> You can translate that if you like. I think it's not necessary because it's the, the, the price is clear. Exactly. <laughs> For a doodle art. Indeed. <laughs> what happened after the Second World War actually is kind of interesting. Uh, a lot of the, let's say, intellectual population of Europe, uh, a lot of whom were Jewish, of course, had to escape, had to escape Europe, and they were given sanctuary in New York. So, uh, and that gave rise to a very dynamic, interesting uh, art scene in New York. So it was the Jewish who actually uh, uh, brought to, some fresh air? To be honest, yes. Whether you See? like it or not, that no, is the situation. No, I like it because yeah. they're smart people. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And it's contributed, in my opinion, disproportionately more 
to every area of human endeavor than just about any other race. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a who's who. A mm -hmm. who's who, really, of, of achievement, essentially in the 20th century, but since as well, has been uh, the Jewish contribution. It's, it's simply undeniable. Now, hey, what am I doing all this for? Get your back, that, 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 how dare you? Okay. <laughs> so just go around it. I just go back Put to your line <laughs> and then fill it in. I like this. It's fun, isn't it? Uh huh. And that's, you know, this is partly, unfortunately, what happens in a lot of schools is the fun element is taken out. Yeah. You cannot do that. You can't expect kids not to enjoy themselves and be all concerned with academic uh, approach to things. Let them enjoy themselves. Let them have some fun. Uh, so you're just looking for interesting shapes. Some of the more interesting shapes to fill in. Maybe like a B here. Okay. <laughs> this is what I like. Uh, yeah, some big ones, some small ones, some whatever. And again, like I said, no rules. Your choice. Sorry, I'm almost forgetting there are people out there watching uh, and just enjoying myself here. Oh. Now, I'm doing it in black and white, but we may decide later to add some color. We'll see. And also, there is no reason why you have to fill all these in. I'm not, we're, we're not filling all these in anyway, we're just filling some of them some in. Of them, yeah. But we don't necessarily have to... Uh, we don't necessarily have to fill them in. We can do this. Like I said, guys, there are no rules. See that? Ah, oh, that's a nice okay. one. Okay, so, like I said, just to add variety to the finished result, we can do that. Now look at this lovely shape oh, here, for nice example. And again, Maybe I'll tell them something also in slow. Like and I want to. <laughs> uh, John učí deti aj na základných školách učí výtvarnú a presne takýto prístup má aj ku výtvarnej pri deťoch, kedy povie, že môžete si nakresliť niečo, ja vám dám možno návod ako na to, ale nechám to úplne na vás. A toto sa mi páči, keď som videla mnohé z jeho hodín, na ktorých som sa bola pozrieť, že tie deti skutočne vytvárajú niečo, čo je im vlastné a niečo, čo sa im naozaj páči a čo v tom sa nájdu. A nie je to o tom, že im príde a opraví a že toto nemôže byť tak, a napríklad, lebo tento nos musí byť dlhší, alebo toto oko musí byť väčšie, aby ste to mali možno proporcii s tým druhým okom. Závisí samozrejme, na čo sa tá hodina sústreďuje. Keď je to kreslenie portrétu, tak tam už skôr dáva viac toho návodu od začiatku. Ale nie je to o tom, že príde k tomu dieťaťu a že teraz toto oko vygumuj, lebo nie je úplne rovnaké ako to druhé oko. Naopak, snaží sa podporovať v deťoch to, že keď vidia možno nejakú pikasovskú postavu, no tak proste to bude ďalší Picasso. A je to, je to práve keď sa pozeráme celkovo na to školstvo, že ako sa vyvíja, kam sa vyvíja, tak mali sme už veľa rozhovorov aj s Johnom, aj s našimi ďalšími lektormi o tom, že kam školstvo smeruje, čo potrebné je tým deťom dávať, čo zase naopak viac zobrať, aby sme ich nezahlcovali zbytočnými vecami tak pri výtvarnej sme sa, nie len teda o výtvarnej, ale aj pri iných predmetoch, ale pri výtvarnej sme sa rozprávali o tom, že nechať tie deti viesť sa vlastným rozumom, nejakou intuíciou a dať im typy a triky a hlavne, aby ich to bavilo. To je najdôležitejšie, že pozerať sa na to, aby to tie deti bavilo a aby dokázali si v tom nájsť niečo svoje vlastné a aby mali dobrý pocit toho seba vyjadrenia. Lebo toto aj na výtvarnej je nevždy, na tých klasických hodinách, um, nevždy situácia, ktorú máme, že tý, na výtvarnej je to často len kopírovanie učiteľa a 
my by sme boli radi, keby tie deti mohli viac ísť za tou cestou seba vyjadrenia. Ale to už je mimo možno túto hodinu. Toto už je skôr taká otázka na iné miesta. So, how okay. are we doing? I didn't understand one word of that. No, I was talking about, you know... Did I hear something about minestrone soup recipe there? <laughs> minestrone soup, yes, next time. <laughs> And I was just saying that you know that the kids want to express themselves and then we need to give them that space. Absolutely. And and then because you know for adults it's easier to say I like this, I don't like this, but when you're at school it's so difficult to say, you know what, I don't really want to do this yes. and I think it's completely useless. Or on the other hand you would say, Oh I really like this, I want to do this more yes. but you're not allowed. You know, well, so look, you know, we have to see it from the teacher's perspective as well, I suppose. That I know. The, 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 the teacher is constrained as well, and there are certain parameters they have to work within. I mean, it's, it's, it's a matter of experience how, how to deal with that situation yeah, in the And you are approached schools. that you decide how to approach that. Yes, but we can certainly improve our, our approach to it by taking it a bit more seriously, I think, uh, as teachers and maybe uh, developing techniques that, that develop children's creativity a bit more effectively. Don't want to go into that now. <laughs> For the moment, we're just making a mess. Yeah. <laughs> now, so you see what I'm doing. Uh, really, it's very, it's very much a personal choice, very subjective as to why you do certain things, why you don't do certain things. I'm using black and white now for the moment. We may decide a little later to add some colour. We'll see. Uh, now, okay, what's next? Let's go back to our original painting. And need some Tape, here we are. Let's get our coloured painting again and put it up here. What are we doing now, you ask? You'll see. So, like I said earlier, part of what makes an abstract painting effective sometimes, one of the techniques, is the juxtaposition, the contrast between straight lines and curved lines. Okay? So, what are we going to do? We're going to take a compass, or a plate, or anything that has, mm -hmm. a, a, well, a, that you make circles with, mm -hmm. and we're going to draw some. There's a circle. Put another one here. Let's make a smaller one. Čiže nepotrebujete mať kružidlo, ak nemáte doma, lebo obchody sú zavreté, <laughs> tak stačí hocičo od štamperlíka až po tanier. Let's make a semicircle. Now the inspiration is there. See it? Mm -hmm. Inspiration is here. With the Kazimir Malevich, the constructivist painting, look at the semicircles, the arches, the squares, the, the, there's not too many circles in this, but uh, uh, so circles, semicircles, what about some squares? Again, totally arbitrary, here's a square. Get a better marking than that. There's a square, there's a rectangle. Let's make a big long rectangle this time. Mm -hmm. And what are we going to do then, John? We're going to cut them out. Square, here. Try and pick the most interesting places that takes in as many colours as you can find. Uh, let's go diagonally with a rectangle and see what happens there. 
All of this was done, take my word for it, through experimentation. Experimentation. They just let loose, allowed for the element of chance, then turned on the brain and figured it out. So, look what I did. Now let's cut them out. Čiže vyberte si také najkrajšie, najfarebnejšie časti vášho obrázku a nožnice hádam doma máte a striháme. One semicircle. Rather interesting too. Look at the lovely colors on that. So again, depending on where you put it, uh, where you choose to cut out, you can, you can make something rather interesting. Čiže experimentujeme. Čím and viac, tým lepšie. This is just one way of, of the infinite number of ways there are of mm -hmm. making mm -hmm. an abstract painting. Áno, toto mi John tiež tak asi 15 krát povedal. Vždy mi to hovorí, aj keď chodíme na výtvarné sa pozerať. Uh, tak so we're getting len, some interesting shapes. To je len jeden spôsob, ako urobiť uh, abstraktné umenie. Je ich nekonečno tých spôsobov, čo znamená, že nevieme vždy povedať, že toto je správne, toto, tak toto robte. Proste vždy si treba to vyskúšať viackrát. Ako asi nebudeme možno úplne ten polok a zarábať milióny, ale minimálne si môžeme doma urobiť pekné umenie, ktoré si aj vieme zamesiť, zavesiť možno aj nad gauč, no čo vie, možno áno, možno nie. Right? John, one for me, for about the couch, for on the wall? <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe. We'll see. Now look at, we're also getting interesting negative shapes outside the shapes that I'm cutting. So let's bear that in mind as well. I'm trying to be as, as accurate as I can with the square. Just, just, uh, mm -hmm. but, you know, tvary, ale aj to, čo nám ostáva, tak to nebudeme vyhadzovať, lebo, ako John hovorí, vieme použiť úplne všetko. So we're going way over time here, but it's do okay. I care? No, Not it's in okay. the slightest. Now look at what we're getting. Oh, that's a nice one. You see that? Mm -hmm. Now we're starting to, to understand some of the principles of abstraction. Now watch when I cut this out. This is going to be beautiful. Čiže to, čo vystrihnete, je jedna časť, ale to, čo vám ostane, je časť druhá. Čiže nevyhadzujte to, ale použijeme to takisto v ďalšej časti. Circles, triangles, squares, rectangles, mm -hmm. basic shapes, uh, and that's, that's, you know, that, that one of the premises of, of abstraction. Look at that. Beautiful Let's make a big long one with this. John neurobil, ale tento vyzerá pekne, tento dlhý obložník. Now, what have you got? <laughs> yeah? Mm, that's a nice one. Yes. Now, at a square here, leave some white in this one, actually. Where do you see what we're going to do with this? Uh, there's a circle here. Let's take that one as well. And then we'll, we'll see what we can do with some of these shapes here. I must put a few triangles in as well. Just be consistent. Well. It's not so easy to cut out a circle right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see what we're going to do with it now. Right? Now, um, uh, Where do we see now? Yeah, I kind of like that there. Let's get let's get a big long one with this. Let's let's take that all the way up here, and across, and here. Now there's some interesting color combinations there. Mm -hmm. See that? Sticking to basic shapes again. Now you're back, beautiful. And let's have a triangle here. Triangle. Nonetheless, triangle. 
So now we see what we're left with. So, I think people may be uh, starting to get the idea that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your, uh, the abstraction uh, is the creation of something new, essentially. Something entirely new. Now, let's get rid of this. And we maybe come back to it and see if there's some interesting shape we can use in that. And look what we have. Now we get our glue. <laughs> Fun and games, huh? Mm -hmm. So here we go with our circle. Now, where will we put it? Let's put it there to start with. Now we're starting to get something mm -hmm. visually interesting. Visually challenging, maybe, to the eye. And that's what we're at. Let's go across here with that. Now we're starting to make choices based on that, nothing else. Let's take our triangle. Any questions? No, and they're, they're just saying like, yeah, now they are, now I understand. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good. Oh, look at this lovely thing. Uh-huh. That's a nice one. Isn't that cool? Uh-huh. Let's get the square. No, ako sa tak na to pozerám, tak vidíte, že asi aj... Oh, wow. I get to do this one. Like this? No, I want to do a different one. Wait, what do I put uh, this one? Remember, our frame is going to go here. Ah, there's still yeah, the frame. So, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, I forgot. Yes, so then in that case, I'll do one here. Perfect. Exactly where I would put it. Well done. Yeah, really? So not just a pretty <laughs> face. Ooh. Now, oh, look at this. Aha, aha, aha. Let's do that. Oh. Now, look at the similarities. You mm. see it? Look at the fact that we're using Jackson Pollock. Look at the way we're using Mondrian. We're even going to start using Kandinsky, some of Kandinsky's stuff. And eventually, we're going to put a frame around this, and we're going to use some of the elements from the Howard Hodgkin. Uh, but for the moment, we're just having fun. Už to vyzerá ako niečo, čo by som si vedela zavesiť doma. A ešte to nemáme dokončené, lebo aj som už medzi tým zabudla, že tam ešte bude rám. Čiže možno, že to dajte viacej, tak aby ste si nechali uh, okolo na 3-4 cm alebo uh, pri tom A3 to je možno nejaké 3 cm miesto všade dookola, kde bude ten rám. Now, where do I go with this? Maybe here. Aha, that's a nice one, yeah. OK. Uh, I have another circle here. Now, actually, let's make two semicircles out of this circle because Čiže hrajte sa s tými tvarmi. No, I don't want to put too much on here. Sometimes less is more, but actually there is a nice, there is an interesting thing there. Look, these two semicircles facing one another, and why not? And we have one more. Let me see. No, no. 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 Um. Now, okay, let's put it down here because I know what's coming next and you guys don't. There's more. We're not finished yet. Right. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Uh, I just want to maybe define some of these a little bit more. So... Now these are, these are my choices now. You're dealing with your own picture. I'm able to justify this in the context of this picture. But I'm just putting a, a black marker line around some of these to help define them as geometric shapes. Uh, now, at this stage, this is an entirely visual statement. And the less you say about it, the better. There is a modern habit of trying to justify everything intellectually with artistic statements and essentially balderdash, which mm. just confuses the issue more than it clarifies. Mm -hmm. So I don't agree with it, never have, I've always had a problem with it, and I'm not going to do it now, says he, talking his head off. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing 
we're going to do is this. And we only have a, a minute or two left. Uh, there's your last piece of card. And I just used a ruler and drew a line around it each way. So now I've cut out most of it. I'll just finish the cutting out. So this is this is what you you guys use because you're using A3 size. Že hovoríme o tom treťom papieri, ktorý máte, a ten v zásade vystrihneme do formy. There's what you're getting, A3 size. I'm using a bigger size. I'm using A2 so that you get to see it. Now, we get our glue. Že v pohode pomaličky si to urobte, vystrihnite, nakreslite. Toto už je záverečná fáza kde opäť ten obraz trošku vyčistíme. And very stick, very quickly on it goes. Now, we've got a frame around our picture. And we're starting to define it to an extent as a picture. No, takže takto to vyzerá okay. úplne Now, inak. That's not right. That needs to be there. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I can't answer the question as to why, but I just know it not right. Okay, now what have we got? Well, we've got something rather interesting. Uh, but we're not finished even yet. Look at all these lovely cool things. All these nice bits and pieces could be used. Again, and then again, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go back Just to our a second, plane. because we yeah. need some translation. Okay. Okay, takže uh, čo sme urobili doteraz, bolo to, že najprv sme si teda nakreslili uh, tie tvary, ktoré sme, uh, ktoré sme vystrihli. Nakreslili sme si čiary a tvary, ktoré sme vystrihli. Potom sme sa pohrali trošku s bieločiernym uh, podkladom. Vystrihli sme si, nalepili. A teraz potrebujeme urobiť tento rám. Ten rám, ako urobíme, je, že ste si zobrali A3 papier a ten A3 papier, oh, wouldn't I be a pretty picture? A ten A3 papier ste si uh, v zásade orámovali, John to má tu z tejto strany na čierno, orámujete si, vystrihnete si ho, a takto, ako to máte, aby ste tou čiernou stranou to nemali, ale tou bielou, tak tu nanesiete lepidlo. Čiže v tomto prípade je to rám, ktorý trošku ten obrázok vyčistí, ale ešte sme neskončili, pretože stále ten zvyšok, ja si to takto zoberiem, ktorý nám tu ostal, ešte toto všetko nám ostalo, tak toto ešte budeme potrebovať, lebo ideme sa trošku pozrieť na anglického maliara a na neho sa ideme zahrať a ideme použiť aj ten rám. Takže... Now, uh, Libeš, do you have your camera? Yes, Can you take a photograph of this as it stands at the moment? Because I might ruin it. Ok, you <laughs> might ruin it. Alright, let's take a picture. Just come right forward. Come, come right. Yeah. Okay. Here. Good. Yeah. Let's just record that. Got it. Before I make a complete hands of it. Now, we're not finished, and I think it's important to push something and push something and push something as far as it will go. I showed you earlier the Howard Hodgkin effort, which is this one, and I told you that. Uh, He had a habit of painting on the frame. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a risk. Now, needless to say, this frame, I can take this frame off if it doesn't work. But I'm going to, uh, just to, um, just to confirm my um, uh, abstract painting credentials, I'm going to, Go for it. And this is called going for it. No, takže John sa ide trošku vyhrať. Kým sa John bude hrať, ja mám tu odpov- otázku od Lucky. 
Um, John, we have a question. I yes. would like to ask if there is going to be edited more online videos or live lessons like this. So, art lessons with John. Yes, you have to come. I want a big class of people doing, the, <laughs> doing this thing. And then it's more fun and then we can interact an awful lot more. So tell all your friends and we'll get... We'll, we, we, gee, Matt, the, the possibilities are endless. We could do extraordinary things. We could work twice this size, three times this size. Look at We could have an, an awful lot of fun. But also we're going to look at the academic side of things as well. We're going to do more landscape painting, portrait painting, still lives, we're going to cover all aspects of this. Drawing is hugely important. We're going mm -hmm. to do that too. But I kind of like the abstract stuff. The freedom, yeah. the freedom it allows is yeah, just extraordinary. Too. Takže ja by som to ešte aj povedala pre ostatných a ľudské povedala takisto viac informácií. Uh, tieto dva workshopy, ktoré sme robili pre dospelých, ľudská, môžete si pozrieť aj minulotýžňový z uh, nedele o 5. sme robili, ale už je to postnuté ako video. Tam sme robili krajinku a maľovanie z fotografie minulý týždeň a pre deti sme robili uh, takisto um, maľovanie hradu a zajtra máme naplánované uh, abstraktné umenie. A to sú uh, live videá, ktoré sme šerovali s vami, uh, aby ste videli a vedeli si to predstaviť, ako to vyzerá. Od budúceho týždňa uh, máme dva plány. Jeden plán je taký, že už uh, hodiny v takejto forme budú uh, len uh, cez Google Meet, čo znamená, že môžete sa rozhodnúť a pridať sa na takúto Johnovú hodinu vo forme platenej verzie. Uh, tam, ak budete mať záujem, tak si na našej stránke www.class.sk môžete pozrieť, ako to uh, vyzerá. Máme tam uh, napísané aj pre deti, aj pre dospelých. Uh, je to kurz, kde sa môžete prihlásiť na 5 takýchto workshopov. Uh, takýchto 5 workshopov, uh, my budeme robiť ich 6 a vy si vyberiete 5, ktoré chcete. Na budúci týždeň plánujeme v sobotu a budeme robiť portréty. Um, tam ale, ako hovorím, už je platená forma tohto workshopu. Uh, čo budeme robiť aj ďalej, aj pre deti, lebo my sme už počas prvej korony vlny natočili uh, videá pre deti, tak uh, tieto sú uh, postupne uh, dostupné na našej facebookovej stránke. Budeme šerovať tieto videá, je to v zásade, ale tie videá sú takej vysokej kvalite, čo sa týka Johnovej úrovne, že aj v pohode si to dospelí môžu robiť. To budú vlastne ako keby ďalej pokračovania. Wow, John, I'm not even looking at you. Uh, no, you better reassure wow. these people instead, in case they start getting scared That's of what nice. I'm doing. Now, this is, if you look at Howard Hodgkin, you'll start to see that this is the way he used to paint. And it's mm -hmm. just revolutionary. In his wow. Look at this. Working in from working in from the frame mm -hmm. with a sort of rainbow so he's, thing. He's, <laughs> basically he that he doesn't have any borders, right? <laughs> no, stop acknowledging borders. Yeah, that's great. I like that. Okay. Now I'm cutting Well I wouldn't mind putting this somewhere like in a frame and in my in my living room. Okay, well not I won't charge all. you as much as Jackson Pollock, but no? it'll be close, you know. You will, close. Uh, mm, okay. Not quite the Let's Jackson see we, if we can close the deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, need some glue. Okay, now Back look guys, it. look, you're on your own now. You get the idea. Go for it. Uh, there are no rules, really. You just have to uh, justify it to itself. If you, uh, you look, it's like a recipe. If you like onions, put onions in. If you like carrots, put carrots in. It's your recipe. It's your food. You have to eat it. It's your painting. You use it. You you create it how you like. Uh, and just trust yourself, really. Oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm. I'm okay, tak ja sa, ja nechám Johna trošku sa vyblázniť. Ja ešte vám yeah. dopoviem, že aj tie workshopy, ktoré bude robiť John pre dospelých, tú platenú verziu a takisto pre deti, ktorá, ktoré budú na budúci týždeň v sobotu, 
tak budú to workshopy, kde budete mať v zásade tiež ako dnes aj históriu, aj uh, nejaký background, nejaký feedback, uh, ako to malujeme, prečo to malujeme, z čoho to vychádza, prečo to vychádza. Na minulej hodine tam bolo uh, napríklad, ako malujeme oblaky, prečo sú na horizonte tmavšie a uh, čím sa vyššie pozeráme, opačne, prečo sú na horizonte svetlejšie a čím sa vyššie pozeráme, tak je to tmavšie, lebo to sa vlastne... Všetko uh, spája aj v tomto prípade s fyzikou, čiže zaoberal sa trošku aj, uh, aj inými vedami, lebo sa to všetko prelína. Takže sú to informácie, ktoré John ako maliár a ako umelec, on takisto robí aj, aj sochárčenie. Uh, on vie, vie veľmi dobre ako na to, keďže je to v zásade jeho povolanie, robí to viac ako 30 rokov. Takže pre neho uh, je to oblasť, ktorá je naozaj doma a takouto formou vám to rád sprostredkuje. Dá sa to aj, že môžete sa zúčastniť len jedného workshopu a vlastne zaplatíte si ten jeden workshop. Pokiaľ budete mať záujem, tak stačí, keď nás kontaktujete cez buď e-mail alebo telefonicky a vieme sa na tomto všetkom dohodnúť. A výhoda tých platených hodín je tá, že tam vás my fyzicky vidíme, pretože to ide cez Google Meet. V tomto prípade vás nevidíme, nevieme s vami mať interakciu, ale pri uh, takých tých online hodinách, keď už bude teda možnosť ísť do offline, tak pôjdeme do offline a prídete k nám do klasu. A tam už aj teda poskytujeme uh, materiál, ktorý potrebujete na dané výtvarné diela, uh, či už deti alebo dospelí. A e, tam je už tá interakcia úplne iná, dokáže vám John poradiť, pomôcť, naviesť vás a už budete sa môcť lepšie aj v tom vy zorientovať. A zároveň, čo som nestihla dopovedať, e, budeme postovať aj tie videá, ktoré sú e, určené viac menej e, deťom, keďže sme ich už urobili s Johnom. A, tak budeme ich postovať každý týždeň, aby ste si, máme 10 videí pripravených, aby ste si ich počas 10 týždňov, týždňov mohli doma vyrábať. Takisto aj naše dievčatá robili e, videá, ktoré sú určené tak e, škôlkárom, prvákom, druhákom možno, tak tie tam budú tiež. E, postupne ich budete nachádzať na našej facebookovej stránke a to je vlastne materiál, ktorý s vami budeme šerovať v zásade takto ako teraz, že sú to natočené videá a vy si môžete spolu vyrábať e, s Johnom alebo s dievčatami e, rôzne umelecké dielka s tým, že kedykoľvek si to video môžete zastaviť, môžete sa k nemu vrátiť, môžete si pozrieť ho najprv a potom spolu s nimi robiť. OK, I have to stop now because I'm going crazy now and I'm starting to lose it. Okay, you go and I'll reply. Okay. <laughs> so, you see what I'm doing now? I'm now starting to finger paint. This is a stage where anything could happen. So, we'll probably have to say goodbye now, but I hope you've, you've uh, enjoyed all this. You started to understand some of the basic principles of what we're doing, uh, of what an abstraction is about. And uh, you, you, you're producing something that you're happy with, really. That's all that matters. If you like it, if you enjoy it, there's no other justification needed. Now, I'm using paint on my fingers straight out of the tube. Oh, dear. And really, just pushing it, pushing it, pushing it to see what you get. But I think we have to say goodbye, uh, Libush, is that right? Well, if you are finished and you think that you... Uh, I can't do an awful lot more. I, it's not hugely successful as a, a finished thing. It would need an awful lot more. I would, from now on, I would be starting to take things off <laughs> rather than putting things on. And you can see I've started this already with the white here. Uh, just, just... Uh, taking some, some things that maybe are not needed 
out of it. So anything can happen. But I think for the moment, I'm going to say goodbye. And uh, Libush is still answering questions there. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. Takže ja možno si tiež ešte nakoniec vám chcem poďakovať za to, že ste sa dnes zúčastnili. Veríme, že sa vám to páčilo. Môžete nám aj do komentárov napísať, ako sa vám to páčilo, čo sa vám páčilo, či takéto niečo si viete predstaviť, že by ste chceli robiť aj viac. Ak áno, tak je tam tá možnosť, nechala som link v komentároch, je tam tá možnosť ísť s Johnom už vlastne do online priestoru, kde bude priamo komunikovať s vami, kde to bude formou hodiny online, hodiny momentálne, keď to bude možné offline a bude môcť sa na ten váš výtvor aj pozrieť, aj počas online, lebo máme takto hodiny online výtvarnej aj pre deti, kde ukážete na kameru, že aha, John, je to takto OK, alebo myslíš si, John, že toto by mohlo byť lepšie tak, alebo kde by som to mal dať, mala dať, tak je to takisto možné a tieto, um, tieto um, workshopy sme vám chceli ukázať, aby ste si to vedeli predstaviť, ako to vyzerá a pokiaľ máte záujem, tak nech sa páči. Ale nebojte sa, budú ešte ďalšie veci, my pripravujeme ďalšie live videá, ktoré už možno, že nebudú o umení tentokrát, ale zase budú o iných veciach. Takže ak máte nejaké nápady, radi, myslím, že sme sa rozprávali o varení, že možno, že na budúce niečo uvaríme, niečo z Írska, z Írskou whisky. Máme aj ďalšie nápady, takže um, ostaňte s nami a uvidíte vlastne na tej našej web stránke a takisto aj na Facebooku, že čo všetko pre vás pripravujeme a možno, že niečo vás zase na budúce zaujíme. Takže krásny dník vám prajeme peknú sobotu a vidíme sa my znova zajtra o 5. večer s deťmi. Majte sa! Yes, you go. Bye! See you all soon! Cool!